In this video, we will generate the descriptive statistics using the data analysis tool pack. So we want to make sure that our data has been entered. And here I have the age and the pulse. And you can see that I have the descriptive statistics as generated by the built-in functions. But now I'm going to use a different tool. So if I go to Tools, Data Analysis, I'm going to click on Descriptive Statistics and hit OK. And now I get a sheet, all right, that I need to fill in. The first thing I need to put in is my input. So if I click on this box to the right, it actually takes me to the spreadsheet. And I want to then use my cursor to highlight the data that I want to generate the statistics for. In this case, I've highlighted cells B2 to B22, or my ages. If I click on this box, it takes me back to my descriptive statistics page. And now I want to make sure that the summary statistics box is checked. And I want to put the data in a new worksheet. So it's going to actually generate a new worksheet to put this data in. So when I click OK, Excel does all the work. It generates a new sheet for me. And here I see my descriptive statistics. I have the mean, the standard error of the mean. This is not the same thing as the standard deviation. I have the median, the mode, the standard deviation, variance, kurtosis and skewness. These are variables associated with normality, which we will discuss later. I have the range, minimum, maximum, sum, and count. Please note that we haven't generated all of our statistics. For example, coefficient of variation is not there, and we don't have any of our quartile or percentile data. But the majority of the things that we want to know about a data set are here. The mean, the standard deviation, the variance, the range, the min, the maximum, and the count. So that's how we use the data analysis tool pack to generate our descriptive statistics.